Calm is power. 21 Ways to Stay Calm in All Situations Written by Kelvin W. Nathan Published by Audio Books Office Introduction In a world that seems to spin faster with every passing day, the ability to remain calm is more than a virtue, it is a superpower. Calm is power. 21 ways to stay calm in all situations serves as your guide to accessing and harnessing this power, offering strategies that help you maintain your composure, think clearly, and act decisively no matter the circumstances. Calmness isn't merely the absence of stress or anxiety, it is a cultivated state of emotional management that enhances your decision-making, improves your relationships, and promotes a healthier lifestyle. In these pages, you will explore 21 practical ways to infuse calm into your daily life, enabling you to rise above the chaos that life throws your way. This book takes you on a journey through understanding the essence of calm, the science behind why it is crucial for managing stress and how it can be your greatest ally in a crisis. By mastering the skills outlined in this guide, you'll not only improve your personal well-being, but also become a beacon of stability for those around you. Each chapter is dedicated to a specific technique or principle that successful individuals employ to remain serene and steady. From mindfulness exercises and breathing techniques to setting boundaries and prioritizing self-care, each strategy is explained in simple terms and comes with actionable steps you can start implementing right away. These are methods proven to work, grounded in psychological research and centuries-old practices that anyone, regardless of their background or lifestyle, can adopt. As we delve deeper, you will learn about the power of perspective, how adjusting your viewpoint can dramatically alter your emotional response. We'll discuss how to harness your thoughts, control your emotional triggers, and deploy relaxation techniques that provide instant calm in any stressful scenario. Furthermore, this book emphasizes the importance of preparation in cultivating calmness. You'll find guidance on building a personal toolkit of strategies to anticipate and deal with stressors before they escalate. This proactive approach ensures that when faced with potential disruptions, you are well equipped to handle them with grace and efficiency. Calm as Power also explores how to maintain tranquility in interpersonal relationships navigating conflicts and challenging social interactions without losing your cool. You'll learn how to communicate effectively under pressure, keeping your emotions in check while expressing your points clearly and respectfully. The journey through this book is not just about combating stress, it's about transforming your entire approach to life. Embracing calmness allows you to enjoy richer experiences, engage more deeply with others, and achieve a sense of peace that permeates all aspects of your life. By the end of this book, you will have acquired a deeper understanding of what it means to be truly calm. More importantly, you will have learned practical ways to achieve and maintain this calmness, armed with the tools to face life's challenges with a new level of serenity and confidence. Let's begin this transformative journey together, unlocking the profound power of calm in your life and discover how a peaceful mind can indeed conquer any situation. In the midst of chaos, there's you, calm and composed, like a rock in a stormy sea. You've probably wondered how some people manage to stay cool under pressure while others crumble. The secret is in their approach, and it's something you can learn. Let's explore the vital skills and strategies that can help you maintain your calm and composure in any situation. Are you ready to tap into the power of calm and transform your life? For more information about the ebook version of this audio, check the video description or visit audiobooksoffice.com. We notice that 69% of you who listen to our video are not yet subscribed to the channel. Please help support the channel by hitting the subscribe button and liking the video. Thanks for inspiring us to create more content for you. Chapter 1 Harness the Power of Deep Breathing You've likely heard about the power of deep breathing before, but have you ever really given it a chance? It's more than just inhaling and exhaling. It's a tool that, when used correctly, can transform your stress into serenity, 
your anxiety into tranquility. Deep breathing isn't a new concept it has been practiced for centuries. It is the core of many meditation techniques and yoga practices. But why is it so effective? Here is the science behind it. Deep breathing signals your brain to calm down and relax. Then your brain sends this message to your body. Those feelings of stress and anxiety start to melt away. You might be wondering how to do it. It is simple. Inhale slowly through your nose, allowing your chest and lower belly to rise as you fill your lungs. Let your abdomen expand fully. Then exhale slowly through your mouth or nose, whichever feels more comfortable. The key is to breathe deeply, down to the very bottom of your lungs. And don't think you need to set aside a specific time to do this. You can practice deep breathing anywhere in a meeting, in traffic, before an important conversation. It's a portable tool, always ready to help you regain control and stay calm in any situation. Chapter 2 Practicing Mindfulness Meditation Venturing on the journey of mindfulness meditation can seem overwhelming, but it's a practice that can truly transform your life. It's not just about sitting in silence, it's about tuning into your thoughts, feelings, and the world around you without judgment. You're not trying to empty your mind or reach a state of eternal calm. Instead, you're endeavoring to be fully present in each moment. Start by finding a comfortable, quiet spot where you won't be disturbed. You can sit on a chair, a cushion, or even on the floor, as long as you're comfortable. Close your eyes and take a few deep breaths. Let your body relax and focus on your breathing. Notice the sensation of air entering and leaving your body. As thoughts arise, don't try to push them away. Acknowledge them and then let them pass, returning your focus to your breath. It's completely natural for your mind to wander, so don't beat yourself up when it does. It's all part of the process. Practicing mindfulness meditation regularly can help you stay calm in stressful situations. It trains your brain to focus on the present and not get caught up in past regrets or future worries. It's a powerful tool that can help you navigate life's ups and downs with more grace and less stress. Chapter 3 Cultivating an Attitude of Gratitude With the hustle and bustle of life, it's easy to get caught up in the whirlwind of our problems and challenges. Your mind might swirl with anxieties and fears, leaving little room for positive thoughts. But amidst the chaos, cultivating an attitude of gratitude can be a powerful tool to help you stay calm. Gratitude is more than just saying thank you. It's a mindset that focuses on appreciating the good in your life, rather than dwelling on what's wrong. It's about acknowledging the beauty in everyday things, from the warmth of the sun on your skin to the sound of laughter from a loved one. Start by making a simple list of things you're grateful for. It doesn't have to be monumental, even small things matter. The taste of your morning coffee, the smile from a stranger, the comfort of your bed after a long day. By focusing on these positive aspects, you're training your mind to look for the good, even in tough times. Embrace gratitude as a daily practice. Each morning or evening, jot down three things you're thankful for. It's a small step, but it creates a ripple effect of positivity. As you cultivate gratitude, you'll find it becomes easier to stay calm amidst life's storms. You'll feel more grounded, more present, and more able to handle whatever comes your way. Ever feel like you're on a non-stop treadmill, racing against time? You're not alone, many of us feel this way. But guess what? You've got the power to hit the pause button. Taking short breaks throughout your day is one of the simplest yet most effective ways to keep calm and focused. Consider this for a moment your brain is like a muscle. Just as your muscles need rest after a strenuous workout, your brain also needs time to recharge. Without breaks, your mind can become overworked, leading to stress, burnout, and a decline in productivity. So how do you incorporate these essential pauses into your day? Start by recognizing when you need a break. Are you feeling overwhelmed, restless, or finding it hard to concentrate? These are signs it's time to step back, even if it's just for five minutes. Next, 
make your breaks count. This doesn't mean you need to do anything extravagant. Simply stepping away from your workstation, taking some deep breaths, or doing a quick stretch can make a world of difference. Chapter 4 Prioritize self-care and relaxation. Beyond the power of breaks and pauses, there's another area that needs your attention, self-care and relaxation. It's more than just a popular buzzword. It's a necessary aspect of maintaining calmness and balance in all situations. It's easy to overlook or dismiss this, especially when you're in the thick of demanding circumstances. But remember, your mind and body are like a car they need regular maintenance to run smoothly. Firstly, identify what self-care looks like for you. It's a personal concept and varies from person to person. For some, it's reading a good book or taking a long bath. For others, it's pursuing a hobby or spending time in nature. It's crucial to find an activity that replenishes your energy and lifts your spirits. Next, make it a priority in your daily routine. It's not always about having a lot of time, it's about utilizing the time you have wisely. Even just a few minutes of mindfulness meditation or a short walk can do wonders in resetting your mental state. Lastly, don't feel guilty for prioritizing yourself. It's not selfish, it's necessary. Just as a flight attendant instructs you to secure your oxygen mask before helping others, you must take care of yourself before you can effectively handle any situation. Self-care and relaxation aren't just about pampering yourself, they're imperative tools for maintaining calm and composure in all situations. When you take care of yourself, you're not only preserving your physical and mental health, but also enhancing your capacity to remain calm under pressure. Chapter 5 Adopting a Growth Mindset Often you may find yourself reacting to stress or challenging situations with fear and frustration. It's natural, but not necessarily beneficial. This is where adopting a growth mindset comes into play. A growth mindset, coined by psychologist Carol Dweck, is the belief that your abilities and intelligence can be developed through dedication, hard work, and most significantly, viewing challenges as opportunities. It's about understanding that it's okay to make mistakes as long as you're learning from them. Adopting a growth mindset starts with self-awareness. Pay attention to your thought patterns. Do you often tell yourself that you can't do something? That might be a sign of a fixed mindset, but don't worry, mindsets aren't set in stone. You can change yours. To switch to a growth mindset, start embracing challenges. See them as opportunities to grow and learn new things rather than obstacles. Next, value effort over talent. Recognize that hard work and persistence are the real keys to success not inborn talent. Furthermore, don't shy away from constructive criticism. Instead, view it as valuable feedback that can help you improve. Chapter 6 Reframing Negative Thoughts Building on the idea of a growth mindset, let's consider how you can counteract negative thoughts that may hold you back. We all have those moments when a cloud of negativity seems to hover over, over us. Whether it's a bad day at work, a difficult conversation, or a personal setback, these instances can lead to a cascade of negative thoughts. But remember, you have the power to reframe these thoughts. Reframing isn't about ignoring reality or glossing over problems. It's about finding a more constructive, hopeful perspective. It's about looking at the same situation through a different lens. You're not denying that the glass is half empty you're just choosing to see it as half full. Let's say you've made a mistake at work. Instead of dwelling on the failure, reframe it, it's an opportunity to learn, to grow. You're not incompetent, you're just in the process of improving. If you're facing a difficult situation, don't let it define you. Instead, see it as a temporary challenge that you're capable of overcoming. To reframe effectively, you have to challenge your negative thoughts. Ask yourself, is this thought based on facts or my interpretation? Am I jumping to conclusions? Am I focusing only on the negatives? This self-awareness is the first step to changing your mindset. After conquering your negative thoughts, it's time to get moving. Physical exercise isn't just about keeping your body fit. 
It's a potent tool for maintaining mental and emotional calmness as well. I understand that it might seem intimidating, especially if you're not used to being active, but trust me, the benefits are worth the effort. Now, you don't have to hit the gym or run a marathon. Start small. A brisk walk around the block, a few minutes of yoga, or a quick swim can do wonders. Choose an activity you enjoy because you're more likely to stick with it. And here's a little secret. Movement releases endorphins, the body's natural feel-good hormones. This biochemical reaction can reduce stress and improve your mood, helping you stay calm in challenging situations. Exercise also helps you sleep better. A good night's rest is vital for managing stress and maintaining a calm demeanor. Plus, regular physical activity boosts your confidence. Overcoming the challenges that come with exercise can make you feel empowered, ready to tackle whatever life throws at you. Chapter 7. Disconnecting from Digital Distractions In today's digital age, it's vitally necessary to take a break from screens and digital distractions. The constant dings of notifications, the endless scrolling, and the artificial glow of screens can create a perfect storm of stress and anxiety. It's not your fault. These devices are designed to be addictive, but you hold the power to unplug and find calm in the chaos. Start by setting digital boundaries. It may be turning off notifications for non-essential apps or designating screen-free hours each day. You'd be surprised at how much peace this small action can bring. It's about gaining control over your digital life rather than it controlling you. Next, consider a digital detox. It's a temporary period of fully disconnecting from digital devices. Gulp, I know it sounds scary, but remember, it's not forever, it's just a pause. A pause to reset, recharge, and regain focus. You might find yourself reconnecting with hobbies and interests that got lost in the digital hustle. Lastly, make spaces in your home that are tech-free zones. These can be places of refuge where you can retreat, breathe, and find calm. It's about creating physical borders to complement your digital ones. Disconnecting from digital distractions isn't about abandoning technology. It's about using it in a way that serves you, not stresses you. It's a journey, not a destination. And remember, every step you take towards disconnecting is a step towards a calmer, more present you. Chapter 8 Seeking Social Support and Connection While disconnecting from digital distractions can bring a sense of calm, it doesn't mean you need to isolate yourself. Humans are inherently social beings. We thrive on connections, support, and shared experiences. In times of stress, reaching out to people who understand and care about you can be an effective way to regain your calm. You're not alone in your struggles. Everyone has their share of troubles, and seeking support doesn't make you weak. On the contrary, it shows your strength and wisdom in recognizing that you don't have to handle everything on your own. Reach out to friends, family, or even professional counselors. Share your fears and anxieties. Listen to their experiences and advice. You'll find that you're not alone, and their words of wisdom might be just what you need to regain your calm. Additionally, try to cultivate meaningful connections in your life. This doesn't mean you have to surround yourself with people all the time. It means developing a few close relationships that provide a sense of security and understanding. Engage in activities that you enjoy with people who share your interests. These shared experiences can create strong bonds, boost your mood, and help you stay calm in stressful situations. Chapter 9. Embracing Uncertainty with Flexibility Though the future may seem shrouded in mystery and fraught with potential pitfalls, it's crucial that you learn to embrace these uncertainties with flexibility. Remember, life's unpredictable nature isn't your enemy. Instead, it's an invitation for you to become more adaptable and resilient. Uncertainty can feel overwhelming, but there's a silver lining. It can serve as a catalyst for personal growth and transformation. When you're open to the unexpected, you're better equipped to seize opportunities that others might miss. It's all about shifting your mindset from fear of the unknown to anticipation of possibilities.
Flexibility, in this regard, means being open to change and able to adjust your responses to circumstances as they evolve. It's not about having all the answers, but about being willing to explore, learn, and adapt. So how can you cultivate this mindset? Start by letting go of rigid expectations. Accept that plans might change, and that's okay. It's not a sign of failure, but a part of life's ebb and flow. Next, practice mindfulness. Being present and aware helps you respond to changes in a more calm and thoughtful manner. It reduces anxiety and increases your capacity to think clearly under pressure. Lastly, nurture self-compassion. It's okay to feel unsettled by uncertainty. Acknowledge your feelings without judgment and remind yourself that it's natural to feel this way. With time and practice, embracing uncertainty with flexibility can become second nature, equipping you with a powerful tool to stay calm in all situations. Chapter 10, Developing Time Management Strategies. Juggling multiple tasks can feel like a formidable challenge, but it's one you can master with effective time management strategies. Time management isn't just about organizing your to-do list, it's about understanding and leveraging your own unique rhythms and energy levels. The first step is to identify your peak periods of productivity. Are you a morning person or do you find your stride in the afternoon? Once you've identified your peak times, aim to schedule your most challenging tasks during these periods. This way you're using your energy when it's at its highest. Next, consider utilizing time management tools. There are a plethora of apps and software available that can help you organize your tasks, set reminders, and even track your productivity. Tools like these can be incredibly helpful in ensuring that you're using your time effectively. Another key strategy is prioritizing. Not all tasks are created equal. Some are urgent, some are important, and others fall into both categories. It's vital to understand which tasks need immediate attention and which ones can wait. This allows you to focus your energy on what truly matters. Finally, don't forget to take breaks. It might seem counterintuitive, but taking short, regular breaks can actually increase your productivity. It gives your brain a chance to rest and recharge, making you more focused and efficient when you return to your tasks. Chapter 11. Nurturing Healthy Sleep Habits Cultivating healthy sleep habits is essential to managing your overall well-being and productivity. You're not just looking for more shut-eye, you're investing in your mind's capacity to stay calm in all situations. It's not always easy but it's worth it. Start by setting a regular sleep schedule. Your body loves consistency. Try to go to bed and wake up at the same time every day, even on weekends. This regularity can help regulate your body's internal clock and could help you fall asleep and stay asleep through the night. Next, consider your sleep environment. A dark, quiet, and cool room can make a world of difference in your sleep quality. If you're finding it hard to achieve this, think about using earplugs, an eye mask, or a fan. Your bed should be comfortable, supportive, and only used for sleep and sex. If you work, eat, or watch TV in bed, your brain can associate your bed with these activities, making it harder to wind down at night. A pre-sleep routine can also be helpful. This could be as simple as reading a book or taking a warm bath before bed. The key is to find an activity that relaxes you and signals to your body that it's time to sleep. Lastly, be mindful of what you eat and drink before bed. Heavy meals, caffeine, and alcohol can interfere with your sleep. Instead, try a light snack and a warm, caffeine-free drink. Chapter 12. Practicing Guided Imagery Techniques Steering the choppy waters of life can sometimes leave you feeling overwhelmed or anxious. It's in such moments that the power of your mind comes to the rescue. One of the strategies you can harness is the practice of guided imagery techniques. Guided imagery is a stress management technique where you use your imagination to visualize a calm or peaceful setting or situation. This technique can help you relax, focus, and regain your balance in the midst of life's turbulence. 
It's like creating your private sanctuary where you can retreat to whenever the outside world becomes too chaotic. Start by finding a quiet space where you won't be easily distracted. Close your eyes and take a few deep breaths to ground yourself. Now, imagine a serene place that brings you peace. It could be a lush forest, a quiet beach, or a cozy room, it's entirely up to you. Picture every detail with vibrant colors. Hear the sounds, smell the scents, feel the textures, and even taste the flavors if applicable. The more vivid your imagination, the more effective the technique. As you immerse yourself in this tranquil space, you'll notice your heart rate slowing down, your breath becoming steady, and your mind clearing up. That's the calming power of guided imagery at work. Chapter 13. Cultivating Emotional Awareness and Regulation While harnessing the calm through guided imagery, another instrumental tool you can use to maintain your peace is by becoming more aware of your emotions and learning to regulate them effectively. Emotional awareness isn't about suppressing your feelings, but rather understanding and acknowledging them, which can be a powerful step towards calmness. Start by identifying your emotions. It's easier to manage feelings when you can name them. Are you feeling anxious, frustrated, or overwhelmed? Give your emotions a name. This process provides a kind of distance between you and your emotions, allowing you to view them as separate from yourself. Next, practice mindfulness. Mindfulness enables you to stay present and focused, not letting anxiety about future or past events steal your peace. Be in the moment. Observe your emotions and let them pass without judgment. This doesn't mean ignoring your feelings, rather. You're giving them space to exist without letting them take over. Finally, employ emotional regulation techniques. Deep breathing, for instance, can help to soothe your nervous system and reduce feelings of stress or anxiety. Progressive muscle relaxation is another method where you tense and then relax different muscle groups in your body promoting physical relaxation that can also ease emotional tension. Chapter 14. Engaging in Creative Hobbies Beyond the domain of emotional awareness, another powerful pathway to tranquility lies in engaging in creative hobbies. They provide a sanctuary, a space for you to lose yourself and, paradoxically, find yourself. Whether it's painting, knitting, gardening, or writing, these activities offer a respite from the world's hustle, allowing your mind to unwind and refocus. When you're engrossed in a creative pursuit, your mind shifts gears. It moves away from worry and stress, plunging into a state of flow where time seems to stand still. This state of flow is one where you're completely immersed in an activity, where your actions and awareness merge. It's a state that brings not just calm, but a sense of fulfillment and happiness. But you might think, I'm not creative. It's a common misconception that creativity is a rare gift bestowed upon a select few. In reality, creativity isn't about producing masterpieces. It's about the process, not the product. It's about expressing yourself, exploring your thoughts and feelings, and connecting with your inner self. The beauty of creative hobbies is that they can be tailored to your personal preferences. If you enjoy solitude, hobbies like drawing or writing might be appealing. If you crave social interaction, consider joining a local theater group or craft club. Often you may find yourself instinctively turning to music when you're seeking calm. It's no coincidence music has the power to soothe your mind and body in unique ways. You've probably noticed that certain songs can trigger memories, feelings, and even physical responses. That's because music stimulates areas of the brain associated with emotion, cognition, and the release of stress hormones. Listening to music can lower your blood pressure, heart rate, and anxiety levels. It's not just the melodies that do this, but the rhythm and pitch as well. They work together to create a relaxing environment that can help you manage stress better. Slow tempo songs, in particular, have a calming effect that can induce a meditative state. Creating a personal playlist with your favorite calming songs can be a powerful tool in your stress management toolbox. Whether it's classical, jazz, or your favorite pop ballad, 
these songs can become your go-to relaxants in stressful situations. Remember, it's not about what others find calming, it's about what works for you. Music is more than just a source of entertainment, it's a medium of expression, a mood regulator, and a stress buster. So next time you're feeling overwhelmed, don't hesitate to reach out for your headphones. Let the music play and soak in the serenity it brings. You'll find that in the sphere of calm and tranquility, music holds a special place. Chapter 15. Incorporating Aromatherapy into Your Routine Another powerful method to create calmness in your life is the practice of aromatherapy. This ancient practice uses essential oils derived from plants to balance, harmonize, and promote the health of body, mind, and spirit. It's not just about pleasant fragrances, it's an effective tool to help you cope with stress and restore a sense of tranquility. To incorporate aromatherapy into your daily routine, you don't need to go all out. Start by choosing a few essential oils based on their calming properties. Lavender, for instance, is known for its sleep-inducing and stress-relieving effects, while chamomile promotes relaxation and reduces anxiety. Experiment with different scents to find what resonates with you. To use these oils, you might add a few drops to a warm bath or dilute them with a carrier oil and massage them into your skin. You can also use a diffuser to spread the fragrance throughout your home or workspace. Picture yourself walking into a room filled with soothing scents that instantly calm your mind and body. Remember, it's important to choose high-quality, pure essential oils and verify you're not allergic to any of their components. Start slow, pay attention to your body's reactions, and adjust as needed. Incorporating aromatherapy into your routine might seem like a small step, but its potential impact on your sense of calm is immeasurable. So give it a try and discover a whole new way to stay calm in all situations. It's your journey to serenity, and every step counts. Journaling, a simple yet profound practice, can be a potent tool in your quest for tranquility. It's not just about writing down your thoughts and feelings, but about giving them a voice, a presence. It's about acknowledging them, understanding them, and letting them go. As you put pen to paper, you're not just recording, you're releasing. And in this release, there's an incredible sense of calm and control. Imagine your journal as a safe haven, a sanctuary where your innermost thoughts and feelings find solace. It's a place where you can be honest, raw, and real without fear of judgment. Don't worry about spelling, grammar, or style. It's your journal, it's your rules. Just let your thoughts flow freely. You'll be surprised at how liberating it feels. To make journaling a part of your daily routine, start small. Set aside five to 10 minutes a day, preferably in the quiet early morning or before bedtime. Write about your day, your dreams, your worries, your victories. Over time, you'll find that this simple practice helps you navigate through life's ups and downs with grace and resilience. Chapter 16. Embracing the Power of Laughter Just as writing down your thoughts in a journal can lead to an inner calm, so can a good laugh. It's not just an old adage, laughter truly is the best medicine. A hearty chuckle can instantly lift your mood, lower stress hormones, and even boost your immune system. You might be thinking, but how can I laugh when I'm feeling anything but cheerful? It's a fair question. Life isn't always a barrel of laughs, but here's where the power of laughter comes into play. It's not about finding humor in every situation. It's about recognizing that laughter itself, regardless of the trigger, has a potent calming effect. Start by watching a funny movie or sitcom, reading a humorous book, or listening to a comedy podcast. Find what tickles your funny bone and incorporate it into your routine. You'll be surprised how a regular dose of laughter can help you navigate even the most challenging situations with a sense of calm. And don't forget the importance of social laughter. Sharing a laugh with others not only strengthens your bond with them, but it also amplifies the physiological benefits of laughter. So invite your friends over for a comedy night or share a funny meme with your colleagues. Embracing the power of laughter means leveraging its calming, 
therapeutic effect to your advantage. Remember, it's not about ignoring your problems or masking your feelings. It's about using laughter as a tool to stay calm, resilient, and positive. After all, calm truly is power. Chapter 17 Seeking Professional Support When Needed Despite the power of self-help techniques like mindfulness, meditation, and laughter, there might come a time when you find yourself in over your head. It's okay. It doesn't mean you failed or you're weak. It simply means you're human, and sometimes we all need a little extra help. Know when to seek out professional support. If you're consistently feeling overwhelmed, anxious, or are struggling to cope with emotions, reach out to a mental health professional. This could be a psychiatrist, psychologist, or a trained counselor who can provide you with tailored tools and strategies to navigate your feelings. Remember, seeking help isn't a sign of weakness but an act of strength. It takes courage to admit you're struggling, and even more to actively seek help. There's no shame in reaching out to professionals who are equipped to guide you through your personal journey towards calmness. You might wonder, how do I find the right professional start by researching and asking for recommendations? Look for professionals who specialize in stress management or anxiety disorders. Verify their licensed and check for reviews or testimonials. Schedule a first meeting to see if you're comfortable with them. In your journey to finding calm, professional support can be a powerful ally. They can provide more than just advice they offer an outside perspective, objective feedback, and a safe space for you to express yourself. So don't hesitate to reach out when you need to. Chapter 18 Practicing Yoga and Stretching Feeling wound up by stress and anxiety? You're not alone. At one point or another, we all find ourselves caught up in the whirlwind of life's pressures. But there's a simple and effective way to regain your calm practicing yoga and stretching. Yoga, an ancient practice originating from India, is more than just a physical workout. It's a mind-body connection that focuses on strength, flexibility, and breathing to promote mental and physical well-being. Think of it as your calm anchor in the stormy sea of life. When anxiety strikes, rather than being swept away, you can ground yourself with yoga. Start with simple poses like the mountain pose or the tree pose. Feel your feet firmly planted on the ground, your spine lengthened, your breath steady. As you stretch your body, imagine stretching away the tension and stress. You don't have to be an expert to benefit. Just be gentle with yourself and keep the focus on connecting with your body and your breath. Stretching exercises, too, can work wonders for your stress levels. By improving blood flow and reducing muscle tension, they help you feel more relaxed and peaceful. Try to incorporate a few minutes of stretching into your daily routine. Whether it's first thing in the morning to start your day refreshed or at night to wind down, you'll soon notice a difference. Chapter 19 Engaging in Outdoor Activities Stepping outdoors can be a powerful tool for finding calm. The act of immersing yourself in nature, whether it's a simple walk in the park or a challenging mountain hike, allows you to embrace physical activity and appreciate the world's natural beauty. It's a simple yet profound way to disconnect from stress and reconnect with your inner tranquility. Submerging yourself in the great outdoors can have a profound effect on your mental well-being. It's not just about the fresh air and the beauty that surrounds you. It's about connecting with the earth, grounding yourself in the reality of nature's rhythms. You don't have to be an outdoor enthusiast to benefit. You can just sit quietly by a babbling brook, take a leisurely stroll in the park, or simply sit in your backyard and watch the birds. As you immerse yourself in nature, you'll find your mind starts to quiet. Worries and stress can fade, replaced by a sense of peace and calm. The simple act of being in nature, of witnessing its quiet strength and enduring beauty, can help you regain perspective on your problems, making them seem less overwhelming. Engaging in outdoor activities isn't just a great way to get your blood pumping and muscles moving, it's also a powerful tool for achieving mental calm. 
When you're feeling stressed or overwhelmed, a brisk walk or a few minutes of yoga outdoors can do wonders for your mood. You don't have to be an athlete to reap the benefits of physical activity. Even modest amounts of movement can have profound effects on your mental well-being. It's not about how much you do, but rather that you're doing something. So take a break, lace up your shoes, and go for a stroll in the park or a bike ride around the neighborhood. As you move, focus on your breathing and the rhythm of your steps. This isn't just a physical exercise, but also a mindfulness practice. It's about being present in the moment, noticing the sensations in your body, and letting go of any stressful thoughts. Physical activity isn't a cure-all, but it's a powerful ally in your quest for calm. Take a moment to truly immerse yourself in the beauty of the outdoors. Feel the wind as it teases your hair, the sun as it warms your skin, and the ground beneath you, solid and unchanging. It's an incredible world out there, full of wonders that can soothe your soul and calm your mind. Engage in outdoor activities. It could be as simple as taking a walk in the park, gardening in your backyard, or as adventurous as hiking in the mountains. Every activity connects you with nature, promoting peace and tranquility. Don't rush, take your time. Observe the flowers blooming, listen to the birds chirping. Each sensory experience is a reminder of life's simple pleasures. Remember, the goal isn't to escape your problems, but to ground yourself in the present. It's about acknowledging that despite life's fast pace, the world around you moves at its own rhythm. It's about finding calm amidst chaos. Understanding and appreciating the outdoors isn't just about admiring its beauty. It's about realizing that you're a part of this magnificent world. So. Step outside, take a deep breath, and let nature's tranquility envelop you. Therein lies your calm and your power. Chapter 20. Developing a Positive Self-Talk Habit You're now ready to explore the power of positive self-talk. By learning to reframe negative thoughts and regularly practicing positive affirmations, you can nurture a more compassionate relationship with yourself. It's a profound, yet simple, shift that can drastically enhance your inner calm and resilience. In the face of adversity, reframing negative thoughts into positive self-talk isn't just a good idea, it's a powerful tool for fostering resilience and inner strength. It's about consciously choosing to interpret challenges in a way that encourages growth rather than defeat. Start by acknowledging your negative thoughts. Don't push them away. It's only when you recognize them for what they're that you can begin to change them. Next, challenge those thoughts. Are they based on fact or fear? Often we let our anxieties dictate our mindset, but you've got the power to change that narrative. Now, replace those negative thoughts with positive ones. If you're thinking, I can't do this, reframe it as, I can learn how to do this. It's not about denying difficulties, it's about embracing the possibility of overcoming them. Without a doubt, incorporating positive affirmations into your daily routine can transform your life from the inside out. It's like having an inner cheerleader constantly rooting for you, whispering words of encouragement and belief. You're constantly talking to yourself whether you realize it or not, and what you say has a profound impact on your emotional well-being. Developing a positive self-talk habit isn't difficult, but it does require conscious effort. Start by identifying the negative chatter in your mind and consciously replacing it with positive affirmations. You might say, I am capable and resilient, or I handle challenges with grace and poise. Make sure these affirmations resonate with you are in the present tense and stated in the positive. Repeat these affirmations daily, ideally first thing in the morning and last thing at night. This consistency helps to wire your brain for positivity, making it easier to stay calm in the face of adversity. Remember, it's not about ignoring life's challenges, but rather about empowering yourself to approach them with calmness and resolve. Positive affirmations can be a powerful tool in your journey towards inner peace and strength. 
Let's face it, we're often our own harshest critics. We nitpick at our flaws, magnify our mistakes, and berate ourselves for every little slip up. But imagine if you could swap that harsh critic for a compassionate friend. That's where nurturing self-compassion practices comes in. Self-compassion isn't about making excuses or denying reality. It's about acknowledging your mistakes and imperfections without judgment and treating yourself with kindness and empathy. It's the act of being gentle with yourself when you stumble, rather than beating yourself up. Start by recognizing your inner dialogue. Pay attention to how you talk to yourself. Is it kind or is it critical? If it leans towards the latter, it's time to shift. Replace negative self-talk with positive affirmations. Instead of saying, I messed up again, try saying, I'm learning and growing. This shift in perspective can make a world of difference. Chapter 21. Implementing Stress-Reducing Techniques Traversing the turbulent oceans of life, it's crucial to arm yourself with stress-reducing techniques. It's not about avoiding stress completely that's unrealistic. Instead, you're learning to navigate stress, to ride the waves rather than being swept away by them. You're not alone in this journey, and it's okay to admit you need some guidance. First off, let's focus on your breathing. When stress hits, you may unconsciously hold your breath or breathe shallowly, which can heighten feelings of anxiety. Practice deep, slow breathing. Inhale, hold, exhale, and repeat. You'll be amazed how calming this simple act can be. Next, consider physical activity. Exercise isn't just for physical health. It's also a great stress buster. You don't need to run a marathon, a brisk walk, yoga, or dancing in your living room can all do the trick. Make it a regular part of your routine and you'll start to notice the difference. Don't underestimate the power of a good night's sleep. It's easy to skimp on sleep when you're stressed, but that's when you need it most. Aim for seven to nine hours a night. Create a calm, quiet environment and stick to a regular sleep schedule. Lastly, remember the importance of a healthy diet. Regular meals and balanced nutrition can keep your energy level steady and help you manage stress. Incorporate these techniques into your daily life. It's a journey, not a race, so be patient with yourself. Like a tranquil sea, you've become a symbol of calm, mastering the art of serenity in all situations. You've harnessed the power of breath, adopted a growth mindset, prioritized self-care, and found joy in physical activities. Your journey wasn't easy, but your efforts have paid off, transforming stress into strength. Keep practicing, keep growing, and remember calm is more than just a state of mind. It's a powerful force that propels you forward. Thanks for listening to or reading this from Audiobooks Office.